before he created the world, saw every single bad day you would ever have. I want you to think on that. Before he wrote a single promise, he saw all your troubles. Based on the trouble he saw you having, he wrote a promise. God saw my life from beginning to end before I ever came to Christ, before I was ever born, before this world ever came into existence. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit sat down and talked about it all. And they foresaw all of us. They said, wow, look what a lousy life they're going to have. You know what they're going to need? They're going to need some promises. But he didn't write those promises until after he saw the trouble that I was going to be in. Stop thinking about that. So therefore, is there a problem you can have that God didn't prepare a promise for? Unless, of course, you catch God off guard. I don't think he could do that. He foresaw your problem, and then he wrote a promise to you. It's not his fault if you don't open that book and find it. It's not his fault that you didn't have the encouragement in that dark day because you didn't read his book. You go through life and you gripe and you complain and you say, where is God? And he says, I'm right here. I'll never leave thee nor forsake thee. But you didn't rely, you didn't trust, you didn't read. Consider these things. Consider the fact that he cannot withdraw a promise. Once it has been made, God cannot say, I changed my mind. Can't say. Consider that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the same today as he was the day he made the promise. A promise. How often did your children, <laughs> you were raising them, Look you in the face and made you say, You promise, Mom? You promise, Dad? Listen, son, go in that dark bedroom and crawl into bed. Don't worry, no monsters will come out of that from under that bed and eat you. And they'd say, You promise? I'd say, No. Could happen. <laughs> I was a wicked person. <laughs> but sometimes you say to them, I promise. It'll be okay. I Promise. And then based on our promise, what do they do? March off into darkness. Because you promised them nothing bad would happen. They trusted. What they were afraid of, they went through it because you promised them. Listen, if my children can trust a lousy dad like me, why can't I trust my heavenly father? When he says, I promise. I